Their grief was everyone's grief. Their loss was everyone's loss. A loss felt by blacks and whites, rich and poor, young and old. The community rallied around the Saturday searches to show that Atlantans weren't content just to sit back, that they wanted to go out and do something. The searches have stopped. There have been no more funerals. The last body was found on May 24th, and we are in the longest period without discovering a body since the pattern of the so-called gentle killings was identified. You don't see as many stories about the investigation anymore. Are the symbols of Atlanta's missing and murdered children still there? Is the community as aware of that investigation as it once was? The guardian angels took this community by the shoulders and shook it. They came riding into town from New York ostensibly to teach Atlanta's children how to protect themselves. The angels were representative of a frustration and an anxiety here over the seeming powerlessness of investigators to stop the killings and catch the killer. The angels are gone. There was a flood of T-shirts and bumper stickers. You don't see many of them anymore. If there was one symbol of Atlanta's plight, it was the green ribbon. Sports teams, celebrities, civic and business leaders wore them. And now Why you would be hard-pressed to find one. Because it's a serious situation, and I think that um, it's a situation where it's unpredictable right now because uh, they have one suspect, and... Many could, be, many could be involved, you know. Atlantans still think about the killings, that one man has been arrested and the 26 murders are still open, but it is no longer an obsession. With Wayne Williams under arrest, everyone thinks they can relax, and the string of murders has stopped, but it just may be that whoever is really doing it, if it's not Wayne Williams, they decide, well, now it's a good time to stop because this other guy's in jail for it. Prior to his arrest, we saw people wearing green ribbons, we saw posters, we saw concerts, there were rallies. Those things aren't going on anymore. Does that mean that nobody else cares? I don't guess they do, but I do. Some symbols are still out there, like this sign in the Omni, warning children without guardians to leave before 9 o'clock. And the curfew for children has been extended for another three months. This mural on the wall of a building at the McDaniel Glen Housing Project is still there. And the special task force is still in business, though not as heavily staffed as before Wayne Williams' arrest. During the height of the investigation, city fathers asked Atlanta to keep pulling together. There is a feeling now in parts of the community that with a man in jail, the need to keep pulling together is just not that great. Mark Picard, Action News.